Proper Use of Turkey Attractant, William Hovey Smith, 2022. This is Hovey Smith, the Backyard Sportsman. I'm going to make up some turkey attractant. Well, I have been hunting now for five days, and I have spent 6, 10, 18, 20 hours in the woods and seen no turkey. So obviously I need a turkey attractant. And so I will, as I usually do, got some, namely Wild Turkey 101. Now the application of turkey attractant uh, is to do it sparingly and to do it consistently, just like you would put out anything else. Well, the way I use turkey attractant is really twofold. One, I make up pancakes with it of a sort that are augmented with things like raisins and nuts and so give me a quick breakfast when I get up before dawn and I need something I eat right now that's chock full of nutrients and can get me out in the woods in a hurry. All I have to do is break them out of these tubs, heat them up a little bit in the microwave, gobble them down and I'm gone. Woo! Gone. So. In that sense, it's a turkey attract. The second use of it is we are in serious pollen season right now. And earlier in the year, the pollen was so thick it looked like smoke in the woods. You would think that was a forest fire. The thickest I've ever seen. This has its usual effect on me like many other people. It congests my nose and sinuses and... Well... <coughs> Terrible. Well, a little of this used judiciously will clear up the nasal passages. So those are my two uses of turkey attractant. For the decongestion recipe, use one cup of boiling water, one half ounce of wild turkey 101, and a teaspoon of honey. Now mix ingredients until dissolved and sip slowly, smelling the vapors. And we're going to get about making our pancakes and I'll bring the camera up so you can see. We had some old flour, so we're using that. Adding some new. Okay, that's about right. We had our dry ingredients here. These are our chopped nuts. They are medium chopped, I would say. You don't want them too coarse or it'll be difficult to spoon when you actually make up the batter. And although this is self-rising flour, I'm going to use a little extra baking powder in there. One thing most people don't think about is yes, you need to add a little salt to your pancakes. About a level teaspoon will do. Also a little sugar. About the same amount. Because we don't have raisins in here and they're going to be sweet too. Plus the nuts are pre-salted so they have a little salt. Now in spices we have some cumin. Any lumps break them up. We have some nutmeg. And we have some cinnamon. Mix up these dry ingredients a little bit. Mm, it's starting to smell good already, guys. We're going to have some raisins. These are a little dry and they're tending to clump. I'm trying to break them up as I add them.
Okay. Here's a few more actually. Now eggshells are optional. And we're going to add some Crisco. For added fat, one might use Crisco lard melted bear fat of vegetable oil. But deer, beef, chicken, duck, or goose fats are too strongly favored for this preparation. Almond milk. And we proceed to bake. Okay, this is a little too stiff. Yeah, you want it where it'll drip off the spoon. Pancake mix, quick and easy. Add one half to three quarter ounce of wild turkey. Now this is a strongly favored seasoning, so don't overdo it. So now we just fry these up. Until death do you part, an American family meets their Sicilian cousins. A Romance Adventure by William Hovey Smith. A Vendetta Killing, Forced Marriages, Lust, Love, Hate, and Revenge stalks Sicily's ruins in this land of blood, fire, and terror. An American family is cast into a world they do not know and are bound by ties of blood, honor, and respect to an uncertain future as they are hunted by a rival mob. Five years in the writing on location in the American Southwest, Louisiana, and Sicily. Until Death Do You Part is available as softcover, e-book, or audiobook from book sources worldwide. All right. These are doing better. Yeah, these are looking more like pancakes now. And the frying pan needs to be just a little bit hotter. Turn it up to four.
All right, those are ready to stir. We now have our turkey attractant pancakes ready to go. That'll start. Yeah, I'm eating up the ugly ones. Seems that whenever you do pancakes, that first batch out of the pan never comes out quite right. Wow. Definitely a good pancake. You can taste the spices in it, but it's not overspiced. You have to be careful about adding the bourbon though, because this bourbon is a very strong seasoning. I had the mix about right between the nuts and the raisins. Uh, that turned out good. And the thing about added ingredients in the pancakes is, yeah, it, this is filling two of them are a meal. At least way for me. I think we have successfully concluded the first phase of our work today. The pancakes are made up in batches and frozen for later use as needed throughout the season. Now the ingredients can be varied according to what you have in hand. For more information on my outdoor books, blogs, and more than 800 videos, go to my website, hoviesmith.com. To discover more about my business books, go to makeyourownjobsecurity.com. To find out how my novel, screenplay, and movie project is coming along, go to bloodties.net. Hunt what you eat, and eat what you hunt. Goodbye, and God bless.